the resort is in dire need of some fish. Katie and I are in dire need of some blue water therapy. And we're gonna head out now, try and get some fish for the resort, for the kids. And then we're gonna do a cook up and show you one of our favorite recipes this afternoon. And we're gonna prepare it for the guests this evening. You ready? Yeah. to get a nice coral trout for the guests. Can have some of the pandra and then we'll get the rest and of the pandra to the guests. A red one. Yep. What's the red one called, Philly? Pandra. Pandra. Just fill it. Fill it in your cutting all the pieces. Um, uh, kids, but they can read, no? Yeah. Is 
knocked the fillets off, and he took the skin off, and then he's taken out the center bone because it's a bone that runs through the middle there. And then he trims around the bones that are in the rib cage here as well. Very technical procedure. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create basically little steamed parcels which we're gonna wrap in banana leaf. Now, if you don't have a banana plantation right next to your kitchen like we do, you could use ginger leaf. If you don't have ginger leaf, you could use baking paper or I think you can buy like little fancy steam bags as well. Anyway, basically what you're trying to do is create this enclosure to like steam all this goodness together. Uh, we're gonna make a sauce first. So we just use a little bit of soy, which I've already got in there. A little bit of rice wine vinegar, not too much of that. And a sweetener. So you could use whatever you want. This is coconut nectar. You could use maple, you could use honey, you could use brown sugar if you don't care. So that's just a little bit of coconut nectar. If you don't like a sweet element, then don't put it in because it doesn't really matter. Um, this is a pretty Japanesey flavour. If you don't like those Japanesey flavours, you can do exactly the same recipe with coconut cream um, switched out for this sauce as well. Fish down, and then on top of that, you're going to put your herbs. So today I'm using coriander and spring onion, and then ginger on top of that. But it really doesn't matter what you put in here. Any herb that you like that you know goes well with fish, you can put that in there, and it's just going to infuse those flavours right in there. So get creative, try a few different things, and then we just put a little bit of sauce on top. Now, fish is really moist to start off with, so you need a tiny bit of sauce just to get that flavour in there, because this will be dripping by the end of it. So you're basically going to lose all the sauce in the end, but some of it will infuse in the process. All right, yep. So you're going to wrap it up. It doesn't really matter which end you start at. Fold the ends in. Banana leaf's pretty tricky; it can break on the ends. So if you are using something that's Manufactured, it might hold together better, but that's one, that one's going together really well. And then we just use a little toothpick and thread it through both sides. Done. Straight into the steaming basket. We're using a Thermomix, but you can use a pot with a uh, colander sort of steamer on top, or you could use those little um, bamboo basket ones. They'd be really good as well. Actually, if you use the bamboo baskets, you probably don't even need to wrap it. Yeah. Because I think they do a little. You can just put it in with the lid on. Yeah, and then just drizzle on top and let it go. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're using a Thermomix, but as I said before, it doesn't really matter. Put your steaming basket or whatever you're using in and whack that on for five minutes for a piece of fish that size. It's a really big fillet, you can do it longer. If it's really tiny, do it less. Hey, Arlo, what colour is your tomato? Yellow. Looks <laughs> good. Woo! Alright, straight out of the steamer. I'm Okay. My fish. These okay. are your fish presents. So these are our fish presents. And they're very hot, so we need to open them up. Just wait, Finny. I'll do it for you, darling. I know. Okay. Pull, 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 pull. Now open him up. Yeah. Oh, what's inside? Very hot. What's inside? Whoa. Amazing. Does that look yummy? Yes. Okay, now we're going to need a fork for this one. It's a very soft fish. Mine must flow. Should we have the coconut first? Okay. That's my one. Whoa! Look at that fish. Does it look really yummy? And what do you think? Yum. What do you give it out of 10? What score? 100. Yeah! 100 out of 10! Stoked! Mm. What do you think? Yum. Yum? What do you give it out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10? <laughs> Yay! Well, that's a pretty good score. A 10 and a 100. Could be happy with that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the Catch and Cook episode. I think Jace did a really good job. Yeah, I didn't boy. Have a whole lot to do with it, but I think that the kids really enjoyed it. So if you guys are interested in getting some of our recipes, like this one we've shared with you today, head over to our website. I'll put the link in the description below so that you can sign up to our newsletter where you can get free recipes and lots of other bits and pieces that we're hoping to send out to you guys just to add a bit more value to you. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. I say bye. I think the kids are enjoying it. Arlo currently has a straw sucking Arlo's up the juices. Of the... Yeah, drinking the juices of his fish. His coconut <laughs> straw. <laughs> so, see you next week, guys. See you guys. Have bye. a great Christmas. You say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Okay, so we're using Thermex, but as I said before. 
I saw that again. <laughs> nice terrain here. Give it a, give it a lash. <laughs> What's that accent?